Hello students, welcome to the next lecture. In this we will see how you can solve the linear algebra questions which was 18, 19, 49 and 50 asked in the gate 2020 mathematics. So look at quickly what are these questions are there. The first question is related to the quadrature formula of it is of the two marks. Second one is related to the linear transformation and you have to find some coefficients are there and it is of the two marks and the last question is related to the double integration of that and again is of the two marks. So you can see you can get a 2 plus 2 plus 1 that is a 5 marks within a few minutes and try to learn that trick behind that. So let's start with this one how you can solve that. So as we have discussed so many times in the previous lectures also whenever there is a quadrature formula and make sure that always remember this kind of the question related to quadrature formula always ask in the gate examination. You can scroll down the previous year paper you will find that. Since it is a polynomial of degree 2 so it means your f of x will be either as a coefficient r of this form. So what you can do is firstly you can to take f of x is my 1. You can substitute here what is the limit what is the integration of this it will be my 2. If f of x is 1 this will be nothing but my a plus b what is the f dash of x 0 is here. Secondly you can take as of the x what is the integration of x is my x square by 2 so 0 f of minus 1 is my minus of a, f of 0 is my 0, what is the f dash is my 1, so this is plus c. Then lastly you can take as a x square, you can substitute here, what is the answer of this is my 2 by 3. When x is minus 1, it will be my plus of a, when x is 0, is a 0, what is the derivative of this at a point 1, that is of the 2, so this is there. Now how you can find that, you can simply, how you can, uh, how you can uh, find the value of d here? You can see from here, you can solve them. So what is the answer of this? If you add them, you will get as a 3c is nothing but 2 by 3. Then c is here as a 2 by 9. When c is my 2 by 9, you can substitute here. a will be again here 2 by 9. You can substitute here. What is the value of the b is my 2 minus 2 by 9. So that is a 18 minus 16 by 9. And you have to find the value of the b. Right answer is my 16 by 9. You can round off up to the two decimal places. Look at the second question. This is related to the linear transformation. What you can do is there are the two methods are there. The first method I can tell you what is the usual way is that you have to think, you have to write whatever you want to find as a linear combination of the pairs like minus 1, 1, 1 plus b times of the second pair 1, 2, 3, 4 and c times of the third pair. And you can equate the coefficients and find the value of the a, b and c. But here I tell you the simplest way you can try to equate them. Look at that the, this is a 6, 0. So this is a my 0. So it means this 6 is nothing but my linear combination of here. This is 4, this is my 1. So it means if I take a as of the 2 and b as my 1 then this will be satisfied. Then what about the others? Now you can uh, look about this 6. If I 3, if I taken as a 2 here, so it will be 2 plus 3, 5 and I want a 6, it is minus of 1, so I can take C as of minus 1. Now can you check whether this pair is satisfied all? Look about the third one is 5, so this is my twice of this, that's a 2. This is my 2 plus 2, 4, minus minus plus 1, 5. This is my minus of 2, this is plus 1, minus of 1 and minus of 2 is minus. Now it's satisfied. So what is the right answer is there. So I consider a as 2, b as 1, c minus 1. So you can multiply this by 2. This by b is 1. So you can multiply this by 1 and this by of minus 1. And you want to find the coefficient of the x cube. So what is the coefficient of the x, x4 is 4. This is nothing. This is plus 1. So right answer is my plus 5 is there. Look at the next question is there, question number 50 which is related to the double integration. Whenever there is a integrations are there over the closed surface or loop, do you think that which, which result will applicable over here? Yes, you can use as of the divergence theorem. So what is the divergence theorem is you can change this surface integral into the uh, volume integral and call as f of d of this. So what is the divergence of the f? You can see. What is the divergence of the f? I can write here as divergence of f is derivative this with respect to x. So what is that? This is 2 plus of 2y of sin x. This with respect to y. 
So this is plus 2 minus of 2y sin x and this is with respect to the z. So what will happen? This is nothing but my 4. This is my divergence of f. So you can substitute here. This is 8. Volume is my dx dy dz. Now how you can integrate this over this surface? There are the two ways. One way is that you can integrate over this 1 minus x minus y over 1 minus x and over to here. But it will take a lot of the calculations. How you can solve it easily? You can use as the Dirichlet theorem. What is the Dirichlet theorem is? If you write this in the form of here, this is the triple integration of this. What is the answer of this? This is nothing but my gamma function of the L, gamma function of the M, gamma function of the L divided by L plus M plus N plus 1. That's the right answer of this. So if you think about this, can you write this term? I can write this as 8 is outside. I can write this as 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. So what is the x l m n? L is my 1, m is my 1, z l l m and n. So you can substitute the value here. What is the right answer of this? Gamma function of 1, gamma function of 1, gamma function of 1 divided by 3 plus 1 gamma function of my 4. So what is the answer of z? What is the gamma function of 1 is 1, gamma function of the 4 is nothing but my 3 factorial, 3 factorial is my 6, so the right answer is my 4 by 3 is the here. So this is the way you can, uh, you can solve the double integration to the triple integration in a very simple manner, otherwise you can solve like this way also, it will take a lot of the time. So I hope you can enjoy this session too, you can learn their tricks, you will get the easily 2 marks in a very nice manner. Uh, you can share this video with your friends. You can stay tuned with the other videos related to the previous year papers. Best of luck students. Happy learning.